two, one. Good evening. We're going to have a lesson about aerodynamics. One of the chief principles behind aerodynamics is Bernoulli's principle. And it has a lot to do with flight and what causes airplanes to actually stay in the sky instead of crashing. Okay. All right. Daniel Bernoulli came up with this principle. He is a Swiss physician, uh, medical doctor, but he was also a mathematician. He came from a long line of mathematicians. Uh, and a lot of the principles, uh, especially the ones he's most famous for, uh, come from mathematics and in engineering. And those principles, the one in particular, Bernoulli's principle, um, is what most uh, aircraft engineers and stuff use today when they're designing airplanes. If we look at an airplane, the wing of an airplane usually has kind of this type of, of slope or, or, or design to it. And what happens is, is the air flows over this uh, wing of the plane, uh, a phenomenon occurs. The faster the air flows, the less pressure it actually exerts, which is what keeps the plane uh, in flight. A little example of that uh, is this little demonstration. Let's we'll see if you're up for the challenge. Now, if I ask you what would happen uh, if I blew in the mouthpiece here, uh, most of you would probably say that the ball would come out of the cup. Now, will it? Let's see if we're up for the challenge here. So we can, we can blow and notice the ball stays in the cup. It has a motion, it's spinning, but it stays in the cup. Even when it's on its side. So what causes this to happen? Okay, we'll look. Okay, what happens here is the low pressure around the ball actually pulls the ball into the plastic bottle. When you blow hard on the ball, we're increasing the speed around the ball, okay, which is just a common ping pong ball, but it increases the speed around it and it actually decreases uh, the air pressure, which pulls the ball further down in here, almost kind of like a suction. Uh, and that's the same principle we use around the airflow. It has lower pressure on top of the wing and a higher pressure under, uh, and so that's what keeps it in flight. One other example, okay, we can see here, speed of air, the air increases around it, okay? But it also, as the speed increases, the pressure decreases, keeping the, the ball in flight. Same principle applies to aircraft here. And that is the new principle. Thank you.